Hello everyone and welcome back to Into the North Star, our Sims 3 Legacy. And we are here with our wonderful cat familiar Soot, who has just left us a little present. Look at this, he has left us a turtle. A turtle, a red ear slider, no less. Oh my gosh, I mean look at this guy. I love him, I love him so much. Oh, he's so cute. But he has left us a turtle by his cat bed, Soot. So what am I supposed to do with this, eh? What is that? Oh, it's just a, I thought there was like a mirror there. No, it's just our doors wide open. But where is Darian? It has been so long, Darian, where are you? What are you doing? You are feeding all of the fish here. And where is your daughter? Zelda is currently snoozing. She is gonna have to go catch herself that amazing little, I mean, look at that guy, that little red ear slider turtle. We're gonna have to go catch him in just a second because if you guys recall, that is what Zelda wants to do. Look at our little sleeping fairy. Oh, oh, look at her. Oh, she really is so adorable. Just snoozing on her little bed. Oh my gosh, I love her little cheeks. I love her little cheeks. But you guys, I have actually um, been thinking about their story, why I have been away. Oh my gosh, hang on a second. Is that frost on the windows? <gasps> That's frost on the windows. I have never experienced winter in Sims 3 before, and I cannot believe what I'm seeing right here. Frost? Frost on the windows? That is the coolest thing ever! I know so many of you are probably throwing your hands up in the air and going, but Siri, Siri, that has been there forever! And I don't, I don't, you guys, that's why it's so much fun to see people discover your old favorites because I've never seen Frost on the windows. That's so cool. Wait a second. Oh, that's right. She has magic power. I was like, she has a magic meter. She's not a witch. Nope, she's a fairy. She has fairy magic power. It just looks like her father's magic power. But yes, yeah, so that is so cool that there's frost on the windows. Oh my goodness. But yes, yeah, so our little Zelda is snoozing, but she does want to go and catch 20 of the minor pets throughout the world, which is going to be pretty interesting. I think catch from the wild? Hmm... Mm-hmm. Rereading it real quick. Uh, while being able... Oops. Hey, Zelda, I was trying to read that. The Zoologist, 25,000 lifetime happiness points. While being able to obtain pets through various ways, there is no greater self-satisfaction for an avid animal lover than to go out into the world and bring home a native of the animal kingdom. Animals... Uh, Zelda, come on. Animals born and bred in the wild have different challenges and responsibilities as opposed to regular house pets, but that won't discourage you one bit. And I wonder if, like, Zelda as a fairy has a little bit of a connection with wild animals. Um, you know, because she was found in the wild herself by her wonderful warlock father Darian who's Darian go ahead and take care of those fish you're good what's Soot doing Soot you are you are complaining about your turtle why are you complaining about your turtle hmm hey where'd it go where'd our turtle go oh Soot did you did you pick it up again is it like in your inventory okay we have a maple leaf a wom rat and a cockroach, a caught cockroach that is just sitting around in the inventory. And what are we gonna do with this walmart site? I mean, really? And where'd that turtle go? I wanted that turtle. Ah. Okay, you guys. We're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for like a stray turtle. Darian, what do you do? Oh, yep, Darian's. Oh, Darian, look, 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 look. There's some flowers growing out here. Go ahead. And, okay, and we'll we'll feed all the fish. Don't worry. As Darian. Oh, look at that. Look at his breath. Look at the way his breath is just like frost. Oh my goodness. Look at this, isn't this perfect? This is the early morning warlock. I mean, there's something, there's something absolutely a little, a little bit, um, I mean, ignoring the fact that we've got, eh, eh. okay, Darian, I'm gonna get in a little bit closer so we can get this nice shot. Cause look at this. This is a man who's thinking about love recently because he has a love elixir potion to try out on someone. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna try to make that love elixir potion and then I realized there is someone a good candidate in This town for Darian to try to romance and if you guys remember there is a fairy lady Who lives does she live up here? No, that's the crescent moon Where on earth is that fairy woman? She lives somewhere around here I thought she lived at like the crescent moon area, but I was wrong about that Ooh, I wonder if you can go diving at Shadow River. Where on earth is she? We will find her. Okay, it's not there, not there. But, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, right here. 
I'm pretty sure that this is the home residence, yes, of the Fay household. And the Fay household happens to have the fairy woman that our wonderful little Zelda met at the festival. And I think that she's been asking her dad uh, if that's her mom, because, you know, you don't know. I mean, you found me, so she could be my mom. I could totally see her doing that. And look at Soot watching after the baby. Good job, Soot. Good, good familiar you are. <laughs> Me know I'll Darian, which... Oh, Darian, why are you guzzling honey? Okay, I'm not going to question your life choices. You're okay. Um, wow. Are you, are you about to pass out? You are about to pass out. I was going to make you work in your frozen garden, but that's okay. And speaking of the frozen garden, it just won't do for our little alchemist to not be able to access his garden. So I thought about it. And with our meager funds, our meager funds indeed. Oh, stop that, shoot, you little thingy. If you guys know how to make that thing stop popping up, please let me know. I'm still learning. We are going to actually build a greenhouse, I decided. We're gonna turn this little garage thing uh, into a greenhouse because it will be much more useful to be able to protect our plants that way. Uh, and considering most of the plants that we're growing happen to be you know, magical or mushrooms. I'm not too worried about them refusing to grow. Come on, it's mushrooms. This is perfect, and they have a moon dial, a moon dial to give them light. Why would they want to fuss? But we will give them some better windows. I am a plant fanatic, I do love my plants. All right, come here, little windows. What choices do we have here? Let's see, ooh, there's some nice big ones right there. Do we have anything a little more gothic though? A little bit more? Yeah, something a little more along these lines, but bigger. Let's try bigger than that. Ooh, kind of more like this. Kind of more like something that adds a bit of a creepy vibe. Or at least, uh, gone with the window. Hmm. I wonder if we can put something in there. Because that's really pretty, actually. I, I kind of like that. I kind of really like that. Okay, we're going to go with that. Because we can. And I'm pretty sure we can put something in there. Like a pot. Can we put like plants in there? Add plants on top of the plants? Is that is that something we can do? Uh, let's check it out. Because I like it. Alright, let's see. Sort by function. The core. Where's my beautiful plants? You know what? I find this a crime. Mirrors get their own section. Roof decoration. Wait, roof decorations? What? I didn't know there were roof decorations. Are you kidding? Is there like some... Oh, wow, I didn't notice that we kind of... Um, you know what, guys? I didn't notice before, but this house is much more of a fixer-upper than I thought it was, so we're definitely going to be fixing and upping um, the fact that our, our attic is just open and exposed and we're missing gaps in our roofing. I had never noticed that before. We'll work on it. Are there little gargoyles? Tell me there's little gargoyles. <gasps> there's like a little dragon. Oh, are there like little gargoyles somewhere? Because that would be so perfect. Dragon's head roof sculpture. That's getting closer. Getting closer. Not quite there. You know, we're thinking more more gargoyle-y. Okay, we're gonna have to see if we can find some gargoyles to like download because that would be perfect for the exterior of Durian's household. He wouldn't even be trying to be creepy about it. He'd just be like, oh, I inherited these from my aunt. I suppose I will like just put them here. Alright, and then let's go ahead and snag another simple door. They are living the simple life because we have no money. Do I even have money for this? I think I have enough money for just this. Um, can I put it over here somewhere? Wait, wait. Okay, we can't intersect other objects. I get it. What does that mean? I need to move because there's nothing there, my friend. Oh, I guess it means the um must be against wall. Can't intersect objects. Okay, okay. Hang on. Let me scooch this bush. Huckleberry bush. I'm gonna scooch you over here for a second. And then let's try with that simple door again. There we go. Should we make it? Well, I don't know. Now that I think about it. Yeah, because this used to be one of the exits to the house. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Actually, no. This is, this is going to be a hidden private little area where we store all of our plants. It's 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 his alchemy garden. You can't just peek in uninvited on a wizard's alchemy garden. Rude. All right, let's scooch this out a little bit. And then, wee! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and then we're going to see if there's any cool plants or some sort of decor item. 
See, and I mean, sculptures, roof decorations, rugs, they all get their own section. So why not plants? Why don't plants get their own section in there? I think actually if we sort them by room, they do get their own section though. Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want to see. All right, like there's little calla lilies. Can I stick anything up in there? Whoa. Okay, I don't want to stick a calla lily just outside. That's not what I wanted. Um. Um. Well, I can put this like over here. So there's definitely decorations that we can add in. I definitely, ah, oh, we'll have to get some like OMSPs. I'll look into that, but I like it. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Hopefully the plants will defrost themselves. And let's move in these plants and that's okay. Do, 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 move objects on. There we go. We're gonna move in our poor little frozen bean plant and apparently that's a dog dig spot. So we can have a dog dig that up and it'll be like treasure or something. So that would be really cool. But there we go, so now we have our alchemy greenhouse built. I like it. We need to make it like more filled with dirt and, and creepy stuff. Let's see, any tiny little, tiny little flowers or shrubs or things? Let's see, ice plant. What do we have in here? Ooh, that's a big old bush. That's a big old bush too. It looks really cool though. Just it would definitely, definitely block things up a little bit. Hmm. There's some little dandelions. There's some small new bushes. Oh, you know, like just sprinkling these in. We don't have the money for it, so I will constrain myself and just put like two down for now. Okay, maybe three. Shh, don't judge. It's okay. See, it's it's fine. We're all friends here. We're all we're all plant friends here. There's no reason to judge me. It's not like it's not like we have to feed the child. She just drinks nectar. So really, really, with your judgy eyes, you can you can stop with your judgy eyes. Oh my gosh, look at these plants! <gasps> I love these plants, marigolds. Oh my goodness. What is this thing? I don't even know what this thing is, but it looks like it belongs. It looks like it belongs in the garden of an alchemist. So, okay, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I promise I'm stopping now. Uh, where's my terrain paint? That's actually what I wanted. Terrain tools! Water tool, lower tool, soften tool, flatten lot, no. I want terrain paint! That's better. And we are going for, let's see, more of a dirt. Is there like, okay, let's try. Stones and paint, dirt and sand. That's more the vibe we're going for in here. Kind of a good mixture of light dirt. Hmm, maybe a little darker. Let's do dark, that's better, yeah, look at that. Nice dark dirt over here in the corners. There we go. Sprinkling this around. Oh, look at this. I love this little greenhouse. It's really starting to shape up. Because we want to have like all the little dirt spots where we've got our mushrooms growing. Then like this little spot over here. Okay, and now we're going to kind of change it up a little bit with some light dirt. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, this will be so cool. I was thinking how as an alchemist, and what is this? Ooh, the ocean floor, nice. As an alchemist, what Darian does is actually going to be passed on, uh, no, not the weeds, but what Darian does is actually going to be passed on to all of his kids. So, you know, right now he just has Zelda, but his garden, like these rare plants and these unique things that he's growing, the seeds of them will be passed on to the next generations. So it really is, it's like an awesome family event the way he's, he's planting things and working so hard to get things growing. Let's move these over here. Scooch these over here. There we go, put the wolf spin there. I kind of want to put like a big centerpiece plant over there. Where did that, there's our pot, like the big old plant pot. And we planted something special in here. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. A money tree? I think this is a money tree. There we go, and we're gonna put it right there in that corner. There, and now we're so out of money, I'm going to just sit on my hands because otherwise I would spend more of it on getting some awesome plants for Darian. But I love it, I love it, Darian. Darian, I hope your garden warms up. Um, I hope. And hopefully it will, if we can get them out of dormant state now that they're inside. I might have to do a little more research on how to make like an indoor greenhouse, winterizing everything making sure that it does well. But we have it, the basics of it built and constructed, so that makes me happy. And look, Darian's happy, life is sweet. Oh man, he loves getting drunk off honey. 
Uh, maybe that's where Zelda gets it. Speaking of Zelda, how are you doing, sweetheart? Still snooze in? Still have your little your little warlock? Your little warlock thing? We gotta feed her soon though. She wants to go for a joyride on the couch. She wants to play with a snake. Well, we have a lizard. Improve her photography skill. Look at that, she wants to catch a lizard. Oh, okay, that's more important than playing on the couch. And the school bus will arrive in an hour. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna really kind of impede your zoologist adventures for a little while, darling, to be a child, but it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. All right, let's drink some pollen punch. And we can command Soot to guard her little fairy house, which is adorable. Wake up, little dormant plants. I want to tend to you. You guys need to wake up. Maybe I need to like plant something important in here. Oh my gosh, I love this garden. <gasps> I'm so glad we have it now. Even though we have like, you know, holes in the roof and things like that. All right, there you go, sweetie. <laughs> I love how she has great moods from throwing parties all by herself in her fairy house. And now to help us with getting Zelda, her zoologist thing fulfilled, I really am going to do my best to kind of shoot up on the lifetime rewards, which go up over time when Sims are happy up here, don't they? Yeah, when your Sims' mood is high, the mood, meeker, mood meter feeds directly into the lifetime happiness. Sims also build skills faster with higher moods. I didn't know that. See, I'm a Sims 2 aficionado playing for like 10 years now, nonstop, but this, this stuff, this is all new. And we are working really hard so we can get that collection helper. So it's gonna, we're, we're far, far away from it. So we're gonna have to just like fulfill her skills left and right. But it's gonna be fun. All right, why don't you go ahead and you can talk to your friends. And meanwhile, your father, what will we do with Darian? How is he doing on his lifetime wish? All right, lifetime wish of reaching level 10 in the alchemy and using 50 alchemy elixirs. What? Zelda, that was not your first day of school. You've been to school a few times, you silly goose. Oh, and speaking of like cool things that can happen right now though, I do believe that the new festival is on. So let's take a peek at that. Oh, hey, there's, there's Scooby-Doo. Oh, is that Scooby-Doo? I'm pretty sure that's Scooby-Doo. Let's give it all a chance to, to come in. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Hanging out with Rita. <laughs> so here's Scooby, and he's just out here hanging out with Rita. So we should go. Someone mentioned we should go visit the Scooby Doo house. We're totally going to do that. Oh my gosh, and he is covered in fleas. <gasps> Look at that. Scooby is just so infested. You can see them hopping off of him. Gross. No, 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 Scooby. I'm going to have to go talk with... Oh my gosh, look at them. Scooby is covered in fleas. That's a no-go. That's so not... No, 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 no. We're going to have to go talk with, like, Velma and Fred and... Where, where is everybody in charge of you, Scooby? We really have to have a conversation with them. But yes, so we are probably going to be popping over here and enjoying the fall festival soon. That's so exciting. We'll bob for some apples, have a pie eating contest, take some pictures, because while Darian may be very proper, he does believe the proper thing to do when you are raising a child is to take them and do all these events, like ice skating, coming over here to ice skate. I love how this place, oh my gosh, look at this. That is so cute. It is just decked out for the kids to enjoy too. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? This is so cool. Look at this haunted house. Oh, I can see Zelda just- Oh my gosh, what's that? 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 What's that like a ghost going by? Oh my goodness! That's the coolest thing! Okay, Zelda is probably gonna go through that like a bazillion times. No joke. I can totally see her just obsessing about that. Oh, and there's some wildflowers growing in here. So we will spend a day or a few days because we want to get more fall points uh, popping over there. But Darian really does need to look around town too. Uh, especially because we need more ingredients for our elixirs. Also, I think he's going to starve to death if he doesn't wake up soon. Darian, get up. Come on, get up. And then you need to conjure up some apples because I think that you're, you're going to... 
Come on, come on. You take too long to snooze. There we go. See, Soot's bored. What you doing, Soot? Hola. What am I gonna do with that Walm rat, Soot? Should I just sell it? Okay, we're gonna sell your Walm rat to a nice kid down the street, Soot. Because that won't count towards Zelda's zoology thing. And meanwhile, Soot is gonna go eat from his bowl. Oh, he's lonely. That's what's going on. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to adopt a new kitten. We need to adopt a new kitten so that Soot... Alright, let's eat these apples. So that Soot won't be so lonely. I think that sounds like a very good idea. Alright, let's conjure another apple. And eat one more apple. There we go. See, Darian doesn't need a kitchen. Did we sell the kitchen yet? Because we really should. Why haven't we sold the kitchen yet? We don't need this thing. We, we just don't. Alright, out you go. Out you go, expensive kitchen items that serve no purpose. And we'll do something new and exciting with this space down here. Why is it so dark? Darian! Auto lights. All lights. Where are they? Okay, let's just turn on. All lights. Yeah, now I can see what's going on down here. Good. Good, 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 good. But yes, so actually, yeah, we've got a lot to do. We have to send Zelda off to go explore. Soot wants to raise his hunting skill. Darian cast a love charm on a sim, which would be very interesting, because he wants to see Zelda age up well. And he also wants to reach level 6 of the alchemy skill, so let's go ahead and have him research for just a second, just to keep him busy while we look around. And how's the garden? Still dormant. I'll have to see if I can if I can get that to wake up somehow. Maybe we need like special lights or something. Do we have holes in the roof? That might do it. Nope, no holes in the roof. Surprisingly. At least over here. What? Oh no! The lizard got loose. Zelda! You aren't supposed to take your pet lizard to school! It was supposed to be in here, Zelda! Oh, and now your lizard got loose, and we're and we're back down. Uh, we still have one at least, man. Because we have our emerald tree boa. Can I just like put this in here myself? Nope. Okay, we are gonna put the snake in as soon as we can. Oh, and Darian just learned the flask of sleep. Wonderful. All right, so we're gonna send Zelda adventuring. We're going to get Darian to find the ingredients for that elixir of love that he wants to work on. Oh, and what's this? There's just, oh my goodness. There's tiny space rocks and pumpkins in our backyard. So we're gonna collect those up and we might even have Zelda work on carving those soon. So that's gonna be fun. But all right, Darian. Oh, are you done studying already? Did, did I tell you you could be done? Darian, we really have to talk about this. Create 10 elixirs. Um, um, we'll work on this, Darian. We'll work on this. But really quickly, let us check what Darian would need because I kind of want him just to go right over to Faye's house and throw that love elixir in her face and just let it take off from there. Because I feel like, although that may not be the proper thing to do, that would be something Darian would do. He just wants to have Zelda grow up happy. He's focused on that. And in his mind, that means just having the relationship work out. So let's see. What do we need for... Oh, do we not know it yet? <gasps> we don't know it yet, but we do know the love charm. Okay, so we're going to focus on casting the love charm on a sim. I think we'll send Darian over just to introduce himself to Faye, like without Zelda there next time and then we'll see what happens we will see what happens indeed so all right guys we will meet up over at Faye's house and see if she's home and if darian's gonna have any luck casting that love charm so i will see you then Bye bye